we saw that we need to be careful with the complex laws. Some of the identities you are familiar with from real analysis may not hold anymore. In this video, we will see which of the most basic statements, e to the power log z equals z and z equals the log of e to the power z, still hold for both the multivalued log, the one with a small l, and for the principal value of the log, the one with a capital L. So, here we have our four statements e to the power log z equals z for both capital log and small log, and the log of e to the power z equals z for both small log and capital log. So, which ones of those four still holds? Well, you cannot decide by just looking at them. You really need to use the definition to check this because it's non trivial. So, well, let's start with the first one and see whether it holds or not. So, we know what the capital log of z is. It's the ln of the norm of z plus i times the argument of z, where the arg of z is the principal value of the argument, so between minus pi and pi. So, what happens if we plug that into the exponent? Then we get e to the power the ln of z plus i times the argument of z, and we can split it into two parts, like e to the power ln modulus of z times e to the power i times the argument of z. But well, the ln of the modulus of z is just real, so the e to the power ln of the modulus of z is just the modulus of z, which we have over here. And then we see that we have modulus of z times e to the power i argument of z, which is just a polar form of z, so that equals z. So we see the first statement over here is true. Second statement. There we have instead of the capital log of z, the small log of z. What happens in that case? Well, the only difference is that we get in the small log of z an additional factor over here of 2 pi i. So in the computation, only one thing we get extra is this factor of 2 pi i, which is over here and over here, still inside the expo exponent, and over here. But e to the power k times 2 pi i is just 1 for every value of k, so it doesn't change what we had, so we still have uh, e to the power small log of z is still equal to z. So, second statement is true as well. Let's go to the third statement. What happens then? There we have to be a bit more careful. First we write z equals x plus i y, and then we have to see what happens to the log of e to the power z in that case. Well, it's the ln of the modulus of e to the power x plus i y plus i times the argument of x plus e to the power x plus i y over here, this argument. Well, the first part is easy because the modulus of e to the power x plus i y equals the modulus of e to the power x times the modulus of e to the power i y. So the modulus of e to the power i y is just equal to 1. And the modulus of e to the power x, it's real, it's positive, so that's just e to the power x. So we find ln of e to the power x, and that part is x. So that is OK. What about this argument part? Well, that's a bit more tricky. Then we need the argument of e to the power x times e to the power i y. And the argument of e to the power x is just 0, but of e to the power i y, well, this argument is equal to y, but only if y is between minus pi and pi. If y would be, for example, something like 7, then we need the capital argument, so something between minus pi and pi, then the argument would become something like 7 minus 2 pi in order to get in this range minus pi, pi again. So we see the statement is true, so we have a y over here, but only if this y is between minus pi and pi, because in that case the argument of e to the power i y it's just y. Otherwise, you have to start subtracting factors of 2 pi. So we see that the log, capital log of e to the power z equals z sometimes. So maybe true, maybe not true. Depends on your particular value of uh, z. So careful there. We s already see one statement here, which is not always true. And the, the last one, small log of e to the power z, well, that's a disaster. Because the small log is multivalued, so left hand side is multivalued, right hand side is only univalued, so this can never be equal to each other, 
uh, the statements will never hold. So here we already see an example that some statements concerning the log hold and other statements concerning the log do not hold anymore. So if you are working with the log, always go back to the definition. Be careful because the familiar rules may not hold anymore.